Hello everybody, great to see you today. Thanks for tuning in. You know, at this moment, I just want to say a friendly hello and to just chat with you in a sense where, you know, just something to think about where we, we live our day-to-day -day life. We wake up in the morning, do our daily routines, whatever we need to do, so our schedules throughout the day. And day by day, it just keeps going on. And sometimes before we know it, you know, time just flies by. And, you know, we wonder how old, when did this happen? <clears throat> how old, how, how, whatever age that we are at, you know, you feel, what, 10 years younger, let's say. But life goes on so quickly. And it says in the scriptures just to, like, look carefully there, therefore how we walk. Live as intelligent, sensible people and be wise um, when we just live out in our path. And God wants us all to live an abundant, abundant life. And to just have that smile as we live each and every day. Not to have that temporary laughter, but to have that inner peace, that joy, that smile, knowing who and whose we are, God's child. And to just know truly our identity in and through Christ. So no matter how our journey looks like for each and every one of us, I just encourage all of us today to live out and to walk in the step of righteousness, however that may look like for you in your path. Meantime, enjoy your God-given gifts and talents and families and good health that you may be in, whatever we have, to have that heart of gratitude as we're nearing into Thanksgiving season. You know, we take so much for granted and we truly don't appreciate all that we have until it's gone, right? No matter who it is or what it is. But at this day, at this moment today, I just want all of us to just have the heart of gratitude and to just walk sensibly in our everyday life and to just enjoy, enjoy the life the best, the best we can for we all have one life to live and who knows when we run the course of our life, some of us may be fortunate just to eventually pass naturally of dying of old age some of us sadly may have some type of illness or cancer. Some of us may abruptly just get into a car accident or some type of a freak accident. But all of us, our days are, our days are numbered. But I want us to really think about treasuring the time that we have today with our loved ones, with our job, just enjoying the beauty, the nature, and enjoying our relationship that we have with God each and every day. So, you know, all of us, like again, we don't know the last breath that we'll have, but we do have the choices that we can make. We have the power to choose what decisions we're going to make in our lives. Each and every day we choose what we're going to eat, our schedules, we have those kind of choices. We have those power to choose. And as we can have that power to choose, I just pray that you would make good, good godly choices, pleasing and honoring God in all that we do, with all the many hats that we put on as a husband, as a wife, as a parent, as a boss, as an employee, as just being neighborly, whatever it may be in, let's just choose to be kind to one another, to love one another the best way we're capable to, that we know how to, and just to enjoy, just focus on the good and to be grateful. Because some of us, we don't have the choices. Some of us may have the natural deaths. And we don't know when that's going to be. But meantime, 
let us just John 10 10 the enemy comes to steal kill and to destroy but I Jesus have come to give you life and to have it abundantly to the full till it overflows so let's not get distracted and caught up too much into the world and to our culture the pressures of the society feeling like we have to reach up to a certain ladder of success we put so much pressures upon ourselves what is it all for but at the end of our days when we can have our loved ones around us and to be at peace and to try to have less regrets in our life because we had God-given power to just choose hopefully with wisdom discernment our daily lives and to know that we are righteous fight in Christ to live a righteous fight life in and through him knowing we have God's strength and his power within each and every one of us for those who believe I pray that today that you may move forward continually and to just be awakened and to be focused to live and walk in your God-given righteous fight path to know that we are victorious in all circumstances in our life and we will just continue to smile inwardly and a bonus outwardly knowing that our Lord Jesus is our one and only Savior and because of him and his power Jesus power within we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us each and every day it says in Philippians so let us continue today to run our course and to just live each and every day as beautifully as we can and just please and honor God putting that smile first and foremost on God's face and when we do that with our great motivation and our desires to just honor God God gives us the desires of our heart whatever that may look like and we will be in peace in joy and in continued fellowship with him and how richly we will be blessed in our days God bless you. But this is a channel that I talk about faith, encouragements, anything uplifting or inspiring just to help us in our daily lives to give us hope and cheer. If you're new to my channel, please, please consider to subscribe to my channel for you will receive my weekly encouragements. And I pray that you may be encouraged today for something that I say to just focus on that smile within and please and honor God living a righteous fight life in and through him. God bless you. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.